It's Hef. I am back in, and this is going to be an introduction for a new project. Yes, I know, crazy, crazy. But this is only a month-long project. It's a very short project. One of the girls in the Geeks and Booties group, uh, Lisa, of course she will be linked down below, suggested using um, green, yellow, and gold products in March, um, and she suggested like three. I'm going to be doing more than three. Um, and obviously for kind of like the uh, St. Patrick's Day type of feel. Uh, but yeah, she was suggesting that we focus on them for a month and I thought that sounds like a good idea. I'm not going to pull new products in, but I do have a few green and yellow pro like uh, things in other projects. And I thought this is a good way for me to actually make myself focus on those particular ones and get some movement in those particular ones. Just pretty much how I have decided to do all of my projects now is to pick just a few things, unless it's stuff that does a full face of makeup. Um, just focus on a few things each month and then swap them out at the end of the month and focus on other things that are in other projects to kind of stop the boredom thing which can actually happen and also be more likely to see progress when you have lots of projects on. Uh, sometimes you have so many products that you're trying to use that none of them get any progress on them and then you kind of feel a bit defeated. So this way it's a way of focusing your attention for a short period of time on specific products and then changing them out. So although she only said three products, <laughs> I actually have but only because they're things that that work together, uh, mostly. So, okay, so the first thing is, uh, if you've watched my, I don't know which one's going up first, whether this one's going up first or the other one, um, my Pan Up Pal update, depends on which one I get edited first. Um, I changed the way I was doing it and now I have five shadows a month to focus on and one of the shadows from my crown palette is actually green. Uh, it is this very light green right there. Um, it's actually what I have on my eyelids. Uh, it doesn't really look green in the camera probably because there's a bit of grey with it. Um, I'm not sure. Let me find a clean finger been playing around too much. Um, so that's it's kind of hard to see. Um, but that's not a problem because the next green product I'm going to put in is from one of my projects. This is the citrus end of a Max Factor cream eyeshadow sticky thing. Um, this is the smoky eye effect. This one is citrus thunder. This end is the citrus end as you can see. It's green. Um, I actually have that on underneath the green eyeshadow today. And that is it. Right. Um, yeah, so I can use that underneath that gives it a bit more pop. Um, that's a good way for me to focus on that. Um, I have to use a fair bit of that green to actually get it to show up. And the third green eye thing is actually the Emerald City Eye Pencil, which is in my Best Own Beauties project, which is just a green eye pencil. It's a little bit more like, well, it's called Emerald City for a reason. It's a bit more emeraldy, but it still works with that. And I can actually put it, use it as an eye base underneath the lighter green, use the lighter green more like to act a bit more like a halo type eye, particularly if you put it over a darker color, it tends to change it a little bit. So there's various ways of using it to get a bit of difference so I don't get too bored with using that. So those are the three green eye, um, products and I can actually show you currently where Emerald City is, is this third mark that is where she is now so hopefully I'll see quite a bit of movement on that one um, over the course of the next month and the last two um, products are both nail polishes um, 
if you've been following my Instagram, you know that in February I only wore purple and apple, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so yeah, we're going for a bit of a change. So the two nail polishes that I will be focusing on are Jaded from Revlon and Lemonhead from Sally Hansen. So I'm thinking of trying to do some like water marbling and some more ombres and stuff with them and get some decent progress on both of those. So yeah, that is the premise for this particular uh, project. I'm not going to be updating this. I will just do a finale probably at the start of April. Um, this runs um, from March 1st to 31st and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go with this particular project. I will leave Lisa and anyone else who ends up doing this down below, so make sure you go and check them out. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like project type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!